the International Space Station now it has been continuously occupied for more than 20 years. And that means that there has not been a single second that there have not been people up in space, working in space. There have been contributions by you know, over 19 countries. The, the whole idea about moving out into space and making discoveries together, the, the more ambitious exploration just cannot be done as a single nation. The thing that I think a lot of people don't understand, though, is, is the, the amount of really wonderful science that's going on up there. You know, we've done experiments on, on Parkinson's disease and cancer cells. They have something called the Cold Atom Laboratory up there, where they create a, a stage of matter that does not happen anywhere naturally in the universe that we know of. It's called Bose-Einstein condensate. They actually get matter um, gases down to less than a billionth of a degree above absolute zero. So the, uh, the fundamental science and the observations of the universe going on at the International Space Station, I think in, in many cases are underappreciated.